Hi everybody and welcome to CIS 110. We're in the fall semester of 2024. I'm so excited to have everybody in my class this semester and I can't wait for you to get started. I just wanted to give you a little tour of our Blackboard class so you could feel better acquainted with it. And once you're done viewing this video, take a look around. Please make sure you watch the video in its entirety because I'm going to show you where a lot of different resources are that will help you and you'll need to know. For this example, I'm showing you section B01. Perhaps you're not in section B01, but that's okay. All of the sections look identical for the online portion of them. So when you first enter our Blackboard class, you will always see the newest announcements posted. Those are super important. Make sure you read through all of them. You'll find lots of instructions in there for the weeks ahead. You'll find reminders there, any changes, things like that. Sometimes you'll get an email notification alerting you of an announcement being posted. You can't always see the full announcement in your email. So if you see that, be sure to log into Blackboard to view the full announcement, especially if there's a video or an image that won't always appear in your email. Once you get into our class, where you're, need, where you're going to need to go first is course information. This, you can get my information, where to find me for office hours. If you're on campus, you can just stop by to say hi, or if you have any questions or anything I can help with. If you are not on campus, I will set up a virtual appointment with you to meet. You just have to email me a couple different days and times that work for you, and we can get that set up. A little bit about me and my email. Whenever you're sending me an email, please be sure to include your course name, which is CIS 110, and your section number in the subject line of all emails. I teach several sections of CIS, and it is much easier for me to help you if you include that information. Sometimes I'm going to reply back to you and ask you what is your section number, and then that wastes time for you getting the help that you need. Down here, you can access your syllabus. Uh, you can click on this one to print it out and view it, or you can read through this one right here. After you've done so, you need to click Mark as Reviewed. Um, that acknowledges that you have read the syllabus in its entirety and you're in agreement of it. It's a contract between your instructor and the institution and you as a student. Um, you'll also find my information here on the syllabus. It goes over everything in the class. If your class meets in person, it'll have your schedule here under the format explanation. Some classes are blended. Some classes are fully online. Those are the two different modalities that I teach. It goes over how your grades will work, what percentage of your grades each assignment counts for. It goes over the attendance policy. You cannot miss more than two weeks of class. If you miss two full weeks of class, you're at your max. Once you go over two weeks of class, you would be dropped from the course and you would have to repeat it at a later date. No late work is accepted in this class. If you have an extenuating circumstances that arise, arises, please send me an email prior to the due date. You can add your JCC email to your phone so that you can easily access it to shoot an instructor an email if something comes up but make sure you contact me prior to the due date if you want to discuss any kind of special uh, circumstances. We can go back to course information. Your course schedule is here as well. It goes over the whole semester at a glance. All of your assignments are due each week on Thursday by 11.59 p.m. And then the following morning, Friday at 12 a.m., your next week assignments shall begin. Now, once you complete your enrollment verification quiz, which is the very first thing you have to do before you can actually do your grade assignments, um, all of the courses that are online, your weeks will be open for you to work ahead. My blended sections, I don't do that because we'll be meeting face-to-face, -face, so it's a little bit different. But the online sections, once you complete your enrollment verification quiz, all the weeks open and you can certainly feel free to work ahead. Um, for weeks 15 and 16, you'll note that the due dates do change to a Monday because it wraps around Thanksgiving break. So in order to give you uh, the right amount of days to complete your assignments, we had to tweak the due date a little on those two weeks. 
we go back to course information, you'll also just see some CIS 110 facts over here. We use an online lab. We refer to it as SAM. The textbook will also say Cengage. You'll see places. And that's where you will access your e-text. There's no additional textbook that you need to buy for this class. The cost of the e-text, which comes with the online lab, is already included in your price that you paid for the class. After you go through all of the course information, you can move on to the weekly lessons. And here you'll see the start here first folder. You need to go in there and complete this enrollment verification quiz. Chances are you will have to complete an enrollment verification quiz, better known as the EVQ, for all of your classes that have some kind of online component. This secures your seat in the class and also it unlocks your assignments. So you can't complete any of your assignments until that EVQ is done. It must be done by August 26, which we have written right here, in order to hold your seat in the class. If you do not complete it by August 26, you'll be marked as never attended and then you'll be removed from the course. So we don't want that to happen to anybody. So make sure you just click on this and get that done. It is not a graded quiz. It does not count towards your final grade at all. You just must complete it. To be successful in this class, you need to have the full versions of Microsoft Office downloaded onto the computer that you plan to use for the semester. If you're using a Chromebook, you cannot download any software onto a Chromebook. You will also not be able to successfully complete your projects for this class with a Chromebook. You will be able to do your discussion boards, your trainings, and your exams on a Chromebook, but once we get into the Microsoft Office software, which includes Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, you need to have a computer that is able to download the full versions of those software. If you don't have one, you don't have to go out and buy one. You can always go to a computer lab on campus or to the library because they all have the full versions of Office on them. You can also go to a local library and see if that's available as well. If you have a computer but you don't have the Microsoft Office programs, you are able to download and install those programs onto your computer for free as a JCC student. You can actually do that on up to five different computers. And a video showing you how to do that is right here so you can watch that. And you can go through this list here that kind of gives you a checklist of exactly what you need to do for week one. So we talked about the enrollment verification quiz, you have to review the syllabus, you have to download and install Office onto the computer you plan to work on for the semester. Next, you need to get logged into SAM, which I mentioned before is your online lab and e-text. You'll use this every week, beginning with week one. I'm gonna show you how to do this. And then after you get logged into SAM, you'll be ready to get started with your week one graded work. Please read about this down here as well. Um, I did mention some of it already, but please read through everything. So if we click on eText, we're gonna scroll down right here and you'll see the Shelley Cashman series collection. You're going to click on that. Since I am in here as an instructor, I probably won't be able to show you exactly what it looks like. Um, but when it opens up, you're gonna have the option of creating an account. You'll need to do that with your JCC email address. If it opens up right into the e-text, that means that you have already used Cengage in another course and so you already have access and you're good to go. So you can just fast forward a little bit and then you'll see me move on to grade uh, week one grade assignments. If you get a screen like this, you'll go to create account. Are you a student? Yes. And then you will use your JCC email address. It should be your username for Blackboard, then the at symbol. So mine would be if I were a student, it would be mcrivera at mail.johnsoncc.edu. My actual email address is different than that because I'm not a student. 
but that's what yours would look like after your username here. And then you'll follow all of the prompts and what will happen is they'll send you an email verification. So you have to log into your JCC email, click on that, and then you're good to go and you're registered with Sam. Once you get registered with Sam, you can go to weekly lessons and I will exit out of the student view so that we could see week one. And then you can click on week one and each week will look just like this. It will show you your reading requirements. There will be a link to take you to the e-text to the exact module that you need to read. Now the e-text has lots of activities in there for you to do. Those are for you to do as additional practice and additional resources. You do not need to complete those to turn in for a grade. Your three graded assignments for this week are discussion board, your SAM essentials training so that you're going to complete in your online lab, and then a getting started assignment which you'll complete using your OneDrive. And I'll post another video showing you how to access your OneDrive and submit that link. So the discussion board, you'll click on it and it will take you to where you need to be. You'll click create thread. You can make your subject and then you're gonna answer all of your questions here. Please make sure that you use proper grammar, um, proper spelling and college quality writing for all of your discussion boards because this is a college class. It's not an English class, but it is a college class. So you'll have to make sure that you answer all of these questions. Um, and then also it says here you need to reply to at least three of your classmates. So if you don't reply to others, you won't get full credit. So make sure you always check if replies are needed. Your essentials training is going to open up once you're registered with Sam. Um, and I can't show you what that looks like right now, but we actually have another video in here, right here, that shows you how to do the trainings in SAM that you can watch for that. And then your Getting Started project is your other graded assignment that's due, and there will be a separate video posted in announcements for that. So anything you need help with, please look through Blackboard because there's going to be a video posted to help you. And make sure that you always go to weekly lessons. Find the week that you're on because there's always a to-do list there of what has to be done and every link that you need will be right within the weekly lessons. So feel free to click around, watch all the videos, get all of your week one items completed early in the week so you're not worried about them later, close to the due date, and send me an email if you have any questions. Thanks so much and I can't wait to get started.